Ladies and gentlemen, live from hell, it's no FOMO. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We have, How we doing, uh, boys? A couple brain cells left. Yeah, what, collective this room, probably seven, eight brain cells. Oh, I was going to go way less. Yeah. I yeah. don't have any, so what, that, that would make you guys have a combined four and three. <laughs> Yeah, we're on we're on two hands at most. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Let's, let's <laughs> rip this fucker down. It's not down. going good. But we we fucking show up. If there's one thing we do, we show the fuck up. We're here. As I shit. showed up uh, precisely two hours late. <laughs> way let's <laughs> rip it. Most Garrett fashion of all time. I'm here two hours late. What were you guys doing in the meantime? Just um, beating just off? twiddling dick. Yeah. Okay. Red hole. Red hole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So speaking of the red hole, it's a choose your own adventure type day. Mm. So mm. what do you want to start with? North Pole Craigslist, Sub-Saharan Africa, Thunder's Place, or engineering? Uh, Ooh. Th- uh, fucking North Pole Craigslist. Yeah, Hit fuck it. That. Fuck it. I don't know. Okay, so. <laughs> I don't know. None of, that, <laughs> don't know. Me, so none of that gave me any just, way to prepare, so yeah. go for it. Hit us. So for those of you that don't know, the red hole is just at me 3 a.m. on Reddit. <laughs> so, <laughs> off 40 milligrams of Adderall. <laughs> yes. So the North Pole Craigslist, that's an actual place. Yes. Like people live there? Yeah. It's in Alaska. Besides it's, Santa? Yeah. It's called the North Pole. And these are all things you could get <laughs> for one dollar on the North Pole Craigslist. Mm. Um, a spray can of Santa Pierre Noel snow. Snow. So you could buy a spray can of snow for one dollar. Okay. Sounds like a steal. Well, uh, hold on. Stop there for one second. A spray can that sprays out snow? Yeah. In the North Pole. So it's not like spray paint. It like actually sprays snow. It sprays snow. Spray snow for a dollar. Okay. That's Buy that. Yeah. Did you order it? Not yet. Okay. Because okay. okay. I, f- I didn't even know we could fucking do that. Yeah. Whether or not it's North Pole snow or not, I want to <laughs> be able to spray snow. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's the thing that exists. We got high-grade silver and copper, copper ore for $1. Copper ore, I would buy copper ore. Yes, no. we're going to buy copper ore. You could buy moose antler buttons with no holes for a dollar. Moose How antler. much do I have to pay to get the holes? Uh, that wasn't an option. Okay, fuck. I could check. I'm that out one. on that then. What would the holes be? Well, I don't understand this. To be able to sew the button onto your yeah. fucking shirt. Oh, okay, okay. You got so re-hole. just a, basically a moose antler disc, cork disc. Yes. Yeah. Fuck yeah. That's kind of fire. How many do I get for a dollar? Um, I think it was like half a dozen or so. Like you can really it? ramp up a ugly Christmas sweater with those. Yeah, yeah. Um, so after that, <laughs> 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 fuck. Um, you could get a Western Pleasure horse. For one dollar. Okay, now Slow you're gonna down. need to talk me through that. Yeah, <laughs> explain. Because Western one. pleasure, for the record, if people don't yeah. know the difference between Eastern and Western pleasure, it's that's it's, all hand stuff, right? Yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that was just a full on ass horse. It's a, uh, like a, a full fucking horse for what a dollar. What the fuck is a pleasure horse? Well, I don't when know. you get I, the fuck off. Obviously. I wish I could. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Duh. I didn't keep the link for that one, but it was there. Why not? That's the most purchasable one. True. More, for value. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, if we're talking bang for your buck, quite literally, that's the one I'm going with. <laughs> yeah, um, fertile turkey eggs. Yes, yeah, for one dollar. How much of it? Did you? Were you waiting for our approval to buy these, or you already ordered them? Yeah, because these are cause like we're, no at, we're at an aggregate ten dollars right now, and I'm, we're going to have a field day with all this shit. Yeah, no, I got them all tagged. Okay, and, uh, yeah. well, we're right after this. We're purchasing every single one of these. Yeah. So the last one was this is what it said on the post: an entire breeding bull, and it when I tracked it. So last night when I found it last night. It was one dollar. Now it's eight dollars. So people, so people are bidding. Yeah, on Craigslist. No, they just reposted it for eight dollars. Oh, because people are getting so many hits. Yeah, okay. he was like, "Fuck, I'm gonna lose money on this eight bucks." <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll take I'm that. way undercharging. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's the red hole. I feel like this is a bunch of like meth heads that just steal shit and they just post it for a dollar, hoping to get enough money to buy more meth. Yeah, how much of this stuff could we get for a dollar worth of meth? Uh, almost all of it. Yeah. <laughs> if you send them a rock of crystal meth, you can literally have their entire home. They'll run it. Here. <laughs> but I do have to hop into Thunder's place after this because you're yeah. not going to believe oh, yeah. this is. Yeah, so is this also uh, from the North Pole or this is from Thunder's place? No, this is just part of the red hole. Okay. And also, what subreddit are you on to find this shit? Um, this was... And what the fuck so did the, you type so in? So the people can go digging. This is like mildly interesting, r slash mildly interesting. Okay. Yeah. Mildly. You no. don't want to go fully interesting? Well, no, you, so you... I saw a post from the from the North Pole, and then I just went to see what else is actually on there. Oh, okay. And that's the rest of that stuff. It's adding up. Fuck yeah. So Thunder's Place, have, have you guys heard of the Full Pounder Club? 
No. Mm. Is that <laughs> people who, who give you like four quarter pounders uh, at the same time? <laughs> I have a feeling this is not what it is. <laughs> it's not that. I can tell you it's not that. Very very so not that. Thunder's Place, this is the description of the website. It's the big penis and men's sexual health source increasing penis size around the world. Okay. So it's an entire website where it's a bunch of guys trying to figure out ways to grow their meat. Like to naturally? a full pound? Yeah. A full pound of meat? To, yeah, they're calling it the full pounder. Do club. we know what like what an average penis weighs? Um, so I was looking at around a quarter pounder and under gang, but mm. okay. Yeah. <laughs> with so cheese. These, so these guys' dicks are four times as large as yours. Yes. Yes. And then but mine's four times as large as yours as well. So I might, I might be in the full pounder club. But so we got a couple <laughs> key components on this website. So the best username I found was 32 quarters. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> so he's big. Yeah, uh, he's big. What's Matt? Was he talking eight? weight or was he talking like a roll no, of quarters? Like, oh, thirty-two quarters. <laughs> like, like, yes. like thirty-two quarter pounds because that's eight pounds. No, he, like a stack of thirty-two. Like a roll. Oh, of quarters. Yeah. oh that's not very big, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We got to see. We'll have to measure that one out. How many? How many? Because when you go to buy quarters, you get like ten dollars worth, right? And it's only like this big. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that was a, yeah, that was a mild flex on there. Yeah, that's not big at all. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's not. It's well, heavy. Well, no, the whole thing is they're all trying to grow it. Okay, so grow he, weight? No, they're all trying to grow their their meat okay, okay. in yeah. general. And yeah. those, this subreddit they weird, think like, is where they found. It. Yeah. Okay. So um, <laughs> the best technique I saw, mm -hmm. it's called the hot wrap, and it's four water soaked ba baby socks microwaved until warm. Why did it have to be a baby sock? Well, yeah, let me get to the rest of it. So four water-soaked baby socks microwaved until warm, then apply to your meat for about 20 minutes. <laughs> that was and his this strategy. Is supposed to be a strategy to grow your dick. Uh, yeah. Why I I'm sorry. Why does it have to be a baby sock? Um, I don't that's all I have. How many socks was it? Four water-soaked baby socks. Why not so, just one regular sock? Are they like wrapped like four put inside of each other so it's like dense? So the it's all it like just you doesn't make any. You, no, put, them, like you put them together and then you like tie it on and let it hang. Oh, you let it hang. Oh, like yes. the weight. Yeah. So the whole stretch. site is based on making your Stretching. stuff longer. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Using homo using homeopathic methods. Should we just try all these and let them know what works? We might have. Yeah, to. probably. What else we got in there? Um, what other methods were they using? So the fire goat goat roll, <laughs> it prevents discoloration of penis enlargement by rolling your dick into a ball like uh like dough okay yeah i do that every morning so <laughs> yeah and uh let's so, see. so standard enlargement causes some kneading kneading yeah you need to knead it you need, need to kind of let it rest there's all sorts of different yeah. practices if you use sourdough you've got to put in the fridge to for maintain an the hour. natural color yeah um so i got be a natty you want to be have that natty look <laughs> <laughs> yeah so for most improved stats uh mm. it was eric c he gained 30 cubic inches Cubic? What the fuck yeah, does so that mean? He recorded Vol regular that's volume, that's, baby. Yeah, that's that's thick. Yeah, he recorded <laughs> regular stats from April two thousand four to August two thousand six. While he posted here, going from six point seven five to five and a half, up to a ten point seven five by seven point six five. Whole. He went from. That's a brick. <laughs> He that's got, a brick size. Okay, that's the so size of a brick. So length the length gain of four inches and girth gain of two point one five. Holy shit! Yeah. Um. I don't know. Do this whatever is, he did. Uh, these guys are doing incredible things. But, no, that's yeah. some big work. I love that hole that you were in there. Yeah. Tricks I, doctors don't want you to know. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. So highlights are that he PE'd for about two hours a day, five days a week. He began with one hour, 20 minute Is routine. PE'd like he penis enlarged? Yeah, that's what okay. PE is. We yeah. just, I don't know all the terminology. Yeah, yeah, yet. you've got to break it down. Do you have like, a, a like an acronym Bible where you can like... We yeah, supposed to know where is there a key? Yeah, is there a key? Yeah, so the B P E L is bone pressed, bone pressed erect length, and mm -hmm. B P F L is bone pressed flaccid length. Okay, nice. like what is bone pressed? Yeah, I don't know. What that like means. up against the pubic bone. Oh, oh okay. yeah. see, look at that, dude. We're see, learning. So dude, we're learning things. so much. Welcome to the most. We really are the world's smartest podcast yeah, today. Holy, holy fuck. shit! All right, we are going to take a quick break for a very special announcement. This podcast is now sponsored by Manscaped. Jay, take it away. Oh, hey, FOMO sapiens. <laughs> Support for No FOMO is brought to you by Manscaped, who is the best in men's below the waist grooming. Their products are precision engineered tools for your family jewels, and in this case, your nose as well. Manscaped's performance package 
is the ultimate men's hygiene bundle. It's got the weed whacker here, which is also waterproof and propri provides proprietary skin safe technology, which help reduces nicks, snags, and tugs in your delicate nose holes, okay? And if you're like me, this thing is delicate as it can get after this weekend. So make sure you use it, okay? Join over 4 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with this exclusive offer for you, which is 20% off and free worldwide shipping with the code NOFOMO at manscaped.com. And if my math is correct, boys, you can help me out on this one. That's about 8 million balls. 8, 8 million, million fucking balls. Fucking balls. There's so many balls, <laughs> okay? Get 20% off and free shipping with the code NOFOMO at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping. When do you see free shipping that easy? Never. At manscaped.com, and you have to use the code NOFOMO. Unlock your confidence and always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. Now back to the pod. Now back. So I found a way to do any bird call in the world. Okay. Pick a bird. Go ahead. I'll do it. Uh, I want a parrot. A parrot? So this is me like calling the parrot if I wanted to get it. Okay, right okay. So you take, for parrot, you need to cross your fingers. Mm -hmm. And then it's a little bit of tongue like this. And you go, come here, you fucking parrot. <laughs> <laughs> Give me another bird. Um, another bird. A sparrow. Sparrow? Okay, that one's tougher. You kind of got to do a thumb thing oh, with that Oh, it's a reverse? One. Get over here, you fucking sparrow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's so easy. I never knew it was that easy. How can those be so simple yet so effective? Yeah. You're and telling I, me that bird's not Yo, a bird just hit the window, I swear to <laughs> God. Uh, and I did Google to confirm this is facts. We open, yeah, the yeah, yeah. open the blinds, there's like 13 birds. <laughs> on the hey, go outside, don't bring any bird seed and give one of those a shot. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> uh. Uh, you fucking turkey, come here, turkey, <laughs> turkey. <laughs> uh, that's good stuff. Uh, let, let me hit one of those real quick. I also got to do probably the biggest news of the week, real quick. What do you got? Your boy's single again. Oh wow! I, I can't believe we didn't even address this immediately. It needed to be addressed. Yes. Um, I got dropped. I don't, I'm not going to go into full disclosure on everything, too deep. but uh, the disclose. main points of being dropped were at the wedding that we were at, I was accused of flirting with all of my best friend's girlfriends in front of them. Ah, uh, yes. In front of the my best friends and my girlfriend mm. while on the dance floor by doing things such as being like, oh, hey, it's so nice to see you. Mm. Which Sta is standard greeting, flirtation. Standard behavior. greeting, clearly flirting. Had yeah. to be broken up with. Yeah. Can't. You, how could you trust me when you're not there if I'm doing such things as saying like, oh, wow, you look nice today. Yeah, like being nice to your friends, girlfriends mm -hmm. who you are like friends with. Yeah, yeah. that's disgusting. And I'm sorry yeah, for you're that. you're a pig for I that. I apologize. You're a pig um, for that. Would you like, yeah, is that on record? Your, yeah, yeah. Your I, apology to not only- Molly, so sorry. I would have broke up with me too. But you should apologize to your friends too for flirting with their girlfriends. Oh my, could you- yeah. <laughs> They were so <laughs> mad at me. They were like, whoa, were you just were you mildly just... nice to my girlfriend, dude? Are you oh, fucking... she like asked me to grab her a water while I was up getting water and I brought did her you, one. Did <laughs> you just compliment her dress at a wedding, bro? Uh, yeah, so you're, you're a piece of shit. Absolute scumbag. So deserve to be single. And then uh, the other big one was um, I just took her to Mexico and paid for an entire trip. Mm -hmm. And while I was on that trip, I got mad at her because I saw that she was messaging other dudes on Instagram. Um, and somehow she mental gymnastics the fuck out of me into me apologizing for that. Well, because she didn't want to be mean to them. Yeah, she had to reply. She, you have to reply to these. She guys. had to reply you to, have the, to flirt to the them. fire emoji they sent to her bikini. Which pic. is kind of yeah. which makes sense because like me being nice to my friend's girlfriend versus her being nice to random, random guys online dudes yeah. online who are commenting on her pictures is like yours is very worse. different. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's now, disgusting behavior. Like, yeah, she. She mm -hmm. should have dumped you at when you commented on her replying. Yeah, I'm surprised yeah. she didn't break up with me in Mexico on the trip. That yeah, how dare for. you? He, I, he sent a fire emoji. How am I not going to reply? Thanks, babe. <laughs> John, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, I have to say, oh, you're looking good, too. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm surprised she was even dating you. I'm, yeah. I, yeah. yeah. So, ladies, you know, I just spilled the beans on how horrible I am. If you stay away, I get it. Yeah. I'm going to work on it. I'm going to work on it. Yeah, not saying run to him because obviously he's got some work to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. But he's, he's available. 
Yeah, and I know I'll we've be- had some suitors in the comments lately, specifically for a uh, hat guy who's not wearing a hat. Today. Yeah, I should have been wearing a hat. I, I keep wearing hats hoping they would think I'm hat guy from now on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, just had to get that one out there. Uh, it was a fun, it was a fun little breakup. Nice. But you know what? You're back and better than ever. Oh, I feel so much better. <laughs> I feel nothing takes the load off of you quite like getting the fear of being broken up with for some bullshit. Yeah. Just, just taken away. Just taken away by yeah. getting broken up with for some bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's perfect. <laughs> it feels good. Love yeah. that. So you're back. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I've been getting some visits from some strange characters uh, in my sleep via sleep paralysis demons. Mm. Um, for the last two weeks, it's occurred like three separate times. And I don't know if anyone has has had that happen to them before, but it is fucking horrifying. Last night, no demons, but I literally thought that the house was collapsing on top of my head and I was fully awake and the house was shaking. And then I like woke up in the morning. I like just somehow went back to bed after that happening. Woke up in the morning and my like shoe rack on the opposite side of my room was completely tipped over. So like something happened. And I don't know what it was. Like it, uh, it was fucking terrifying. Well, and, the, 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 and I looked up to see if there was like an earthquake because I literally like was like sitting up in my bed and the whole house was shaking. But then everyone else was like, no, I didn't feel that. But the shoe rack on the opposite side of the house was tipped over. So I don't get it. And the precursor to that is three days no sleep in EDC. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're that, not just being haunted by demons all the time. Well, that's true. He also brought up the fact that all three of us who were sleeping in the room all woke up with a oh, the night before a, a nightmare yeah. terror that I don't remember, <laughs> but apparently I was the one calming everyone down in, <laughs> yeah. the, in the sleep paralysis okay. attack. It's and okay. uh, I have no memory of that. So there was definitely some, some sort of demon some, fucking with us if we all woke up at the same time. Some sort of inner workings, dark inner workings happening in our lives right now. Yeah. But past, we deserve it. I'll tell you that. Mm-hmm. Last couple of days we've been through it. For yeah. Sure. We'll, we'll get to the recap momentarily. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just need to get the brains working before yeah. we even try and remember any of that stuff. Yes, we will discuss our weekend at the Electric Daisy <laughs> Carnival. And we just wanted to make sure our brains were working before we got there. Yeah. Uh, another one that I did a little poll for, I asked you guys to look this up. How many lifetime Lyft slash Uber calls do you have? Oh, slash Uber? Yeah, I mean, I, I couldn't find the Uber ones lifetime, but I can only imagine it's probably the same as my Lyft. It's probably about the same. Um, I have almost 600 lifetime calls. Wow on uber and lyft what about you guys i um, looked at mine i swear to god i'm at 420 420 yep never calling another lyft <laughs> <laughs> i'm exclusively uber now yeah i was at 433 on on lyft. just lyft yeah and the, and what did you guys look at your rating uh the rating was actually pretty high i'm I saw 4.9 yeah 4.9 and mine i can swear to you is only 4.9 because i've taken so many with morgue and he's been blacked out yelling at the Uber driver. Oh, yeah. I I mean, I can't imagine unless we had some like obscene conversation in the backseat that I wouldn't get five stars. You know? Yeah. So something. it's probably like all fives and then one like two. Well, it's the, just been bringing me down. And the, and the reason that I wanted to look this up because I pulled a few girls on theirs sub 50 across. Oh, the I was going to say there's no way they're even a quarter of what we have called. Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine having only called f- how much money that Bro, is? Think about f- if he times each one by a minimum of a ten dollar ride. That's fucking four, five grand, four grand right there. Yeah, yeah. But I, and some of them are fifty dollars. I guarantee that's yeah. over. That's probably close to eight thousand dollars. Easily. Yeah. Twenty grand. Yeah. I, I'm just thinking how amazing it would be if you're a chick and you, you look at that and you're like, oh, I've called twenty eight. Oh my god. There's been only f- twenty eight times where a boy didn't. And they were from like their house to the pregame, and then not everyone that the rest of that night was free. Yeah. What is that like three a year for ten years? Yeah. Just a crazy low amount. Yeah. They're getting away with it. They're getting away with murder. Absolute murder out there. What could you do with eight grand right now? (sighs) So much. Spend it all on Ubers. (laughs) (laughs) Uber my my ass to Australia. Uber a bunch of girls around. (laughs) 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 That's good stuff. (laughs) Uh, 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 uh. Okay. I got a fun fact for you guys. Hmm. If I told you there is only one animal in the sub-Saharan Africa that is scared of thunder, what would it be? This is hard for me to think of right now on two levels because I'm struggling to think of what the what, fuck animals are yeah. <laughs> That's sub-Saharan Africa is like hyenas and cheetahs and tigers and shit. Or not tigers, those are Asian lions yeah. and shit, right? Is, are there koalas there? I want to no, say maybe a koala. Australia. What's, what's dumb enough to be dumbass. afraid of thunder? I there, bet it's something you wouldn't think it. I bet it's like a lion or something. I bet you no? it's a fucking bug, like a cricket. So giraffes are the only animal afraid of thunder because they're the only ones that get struck by lightning. Mm. Oh, fuck. <laughs> we should have figured that out. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> they get struck by lightning? Yeah. 
Oh, that'd be so <laughs> nice you... <laughs> to watch a giraffe just get fucking bullied wow. and tip over. <laughs> That's another part of the red hole. <laughs> oh my god, bro! What's like the population of giraffes like in the world? Eight. That I like. I, I don't feel like there can be that many in a lightning storm. Not a lot. Because when even when you watch like Planet Earth and shit, they don't show like a massive herd of giraffes. They show might. Three. They might be like three or four yeah. chilling. Well, speaking of this, just randomly, unless we're going on about that, have you seen the new fucking? You know, there's Planet Earth. Have you seen the prehistoric planet move or no, series that's I coming want out? To. It's the it's David Attenborough fucking narrating like the regular Planet Earth dude, but it's all like CGI of like dinosaurs. So it's like mm. Earth, like however many millions of years ago, yes. but it looks like real as fuck. So it goes through all like the different species of dinosaurs that were alive at that time and shit, and like woolly mammoths. It looks fucking awesome. It just came out like literally yesterday, I think. Wait, have you seen the one where they show what life would be like on other planets that we know about? Oh, that one's fucked up, dude. I don't like that one. Oh, I think we tried to watch that like super hungover one day. Yeah, and it's yeah. really fucked up. Yeah. So it's like, so take, weird, dude. Yeah, there's like one planet with like super low air density or something. So like everything would be like swimming in the sky. Like mm -hmm. everything flies. It's like a bunch of manta like rays air, in the air, the air and shit. So thick that they can like swim through. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. So it's just a bunch of fucking like hundred, hundred foot long like. Oh, I think that's the one we watched. Everything yeah. was just flying around. Yeah. Like bird animal things, I and don't then like that. Dude. <laughs> Well, that, it's all made up though. So. Yeah, it's yeah. All, that's all conjecture. At least this yeah. one's cool because it's like based off like science about like species of dinosaur we know existed. Yeah, so it's pretty fucking cool. Did they in that one with the new dinosaur one? Did they talk about how the T Rex arms we've had them turned around the wrong way the entire time? No way. So they're they, wings, right? So they think like they were like I thought they were like tiny. Little they were like it's fucking dumb. Obviously, we've talked about forever how dumb the little like arms they are. These tiny they're like they're basically ostrich arms. They should just be turned around like wings. They're, they're oh, they they're were little backwards. yeah, they're backwards. They should be turned around. Oh fuck! Well, they're they're just, they are just wings, wing arms, but they don't fly. Well, because they talk about how they should all just actually have feathers. They're like closestly related to birds of any species. Well, they yeah. think that we've had it wrong the whole time. They actually just had feathers. Yeah, they were all covered in feathers. Yeah, like raptors and shit had fucking. Feathers. Yeah. I hope they talk about that. Yeah. One more thing about the giraffes, mm -hmm. though. How many giraffes have to be hit by lightning for them to instinctively be afraid of it? Got to be a lot. I bet. Like, is lot. it only yeah. the giraffes that saw someone get hit by lightning? Like, oh, fuck. Hey, watch out for lightning. Like, they're spreading the word. Or is yeah. it deep down in their genes it to know? Well, because think about, think about like how little like tree coverage there is there too. So like the tallest thing there is just a giraffe yeah. every time. <laughs> and they like, because lightning hits the closest tall thing how many times does that have to happen for them to have that like in there well what's their lifespan that might be the only cause of death only oh, they can eat <laughs> <out of> the, <laughs> <laughs> the only way a giraffe can die is by the lightning strike yeah. <laughs> says there's approximately sixty eight thousand left in the world the population has declined 40 percent in the last 30 years all From because lightning. of lightning <laughs> 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 They're oh. just getting murked. <laughs> <laughs> Giraffe lifespan is about 25 years. It says one to lightning strike. Yeah. One <laughs> until the a heavy lightning storm. One until they forget to duck. <laughs> <laughs> Might be fake news. We don't know. We don't know yet. Um, Who's even seen that happen? Imagine if you saw that. That'd be fucking insane. One of those time-lapse cameras just in the middle of the desert. It's just a crisped up fucking giraffe carcass that you find still, like still standing, lightning, completely torched. It's like they had a glass now, or how does it work with sand? Nope, that's. <laughs> <laughs> I know where you're going with that, yeah. but nope. No, that's what's, how it works. What sand? <laughs> well, when sand gets struck by lightning, it turns into glass. Well, when you heat up sand, it turns into glass. Yeah, yeah I think that's does it have to get struck by lightning? Does it make glass, right? <laughs> well, has anyone ever heated up a giraffe? No. Besides I, lightning, I bet they turn to glass. That's how they make those big giraffes, giraffes are made of sand is the problem. Yeah, well, duh. <laughs> we knew right that. into glass. <laughs> 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 uh, so I saw a good comparison. You know the the whole UFO uh, the whole UFO thing that's going on right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how they released the statement. Yeah, so <laughs> Morton can't get over. This. Been talking about this I for can't like get five over days. fucking UFOs, dude. Every well, day, no, it's pretty crazy. Every day during EDC, he's like, dude, did they did they talk about the UFOs yet? <laughs> <laughs> well, what did that? Did anyone exactly stop did in the middle like of their a, set to talk yeah, about the UFOs? In the yet? middle of a fucking <laughs> set, it gets like a break, and he's like, did they break the UFO break? I got, I got nothing for you. Dude. Did they take a UFO break? <laughs> Wait, so all they said was that we know there have been them, and they're not. Well, they declared it a national security threat. That was the that was the that was the big because they told us UFOs are real like eight months ago. And yeah, that did got the nothing. big kicker out from this most recent Pentagon release was that they are declaring them a potential national security threat. Which I mean, yeah, yeah. 
If there's shit flying around there that could be yeah. from another planet, I'd say, yeah. If we, aliens are real, it's a threat because yeah. we fucking suck and they yeah, probably just want to kill us. shit up so quickly. <laughs> well, so yeah, I, I was thinking of like a good way to like think about it. So if the Earth or if the universe is 13.7 bil- billion years old and we've only been around for 300,000, so that's only like 0.002% of the time. Less than that. Yeah. So like the comparison is like. Way less than that. Like, imagine Ooh. if we drove around a drove. Oh, I can't even speak today. Hell, dude. get a fucking grip. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine if we like drove a speedboat around like a fucking one of those tribes I, in the rainforest. Sure, it'd be like the same kind of thing in terms of like the time that we've been around. Sure, I didn't explain that very well. No, no that, that would make fucking sense. sucked. Yeah, that yeah. didn't make any sense. Uh, imagine if. Ooh, (laughs) along with like that, the like tribes in the rainforest shit. Do you see this cave that they found like not that long ago? It's like they found like 1995 or whatever. It's a cave that could fit like New York City in it. Where? It's like six miles long. Oh, I did see that. And we just found this like pretty recently. And like this guy was talking about, he's like, how could there not be more shit like that? That it has like a tribe of people that kind of like low key lives just in it and li- just comes out. We've never like found them in there forever. Yeah, because it has like twelve different ecosystems where like the top of the cave has fallen through and there's light that gets through and there's like. A Wait, shit you talking t- about this thing in China where there's like a there's it's, like a full on subterranean forest? Uh, it's in Laos. I don't know. I think it's in yeah, it's in like Laos or some shit. Because I thought they just found something like literally a couple months ago. That was like very similar to what you're talking about. So it could be the same thing. Uh, this but it contains yeah. like potentially thousands of species that we've never seen before. Oh yeah, they are, they yeah. still are fucking figuring it yeah, out. Yeah, it must. Be, it's got to be the same thing. Did you see the pictures of it? It looks like a literal rainforest under the ground. I did not see the pictures. So of I wonder it. if I mean, this is a, newer, a newer one. thing. Yeah. But yeah, but, just on our planet, we had, we don't know what the fuck's going on. But as far as the UFOs go, I mean. Yeah, no fuck, it's a security threat. <laughs> yeah. Like, we've known that. Like, we've known since the beginning of forever that aliens could be bad for us. Well, the, yeah, definitely could be bad for us. Every, it could be bad for you. <laughs> every alien movie ever if made If trans it. fats are bad for us, aliens are definitely bad yeah. for us. <laughs> well, if they haven't fucked us up by now, I think we'll, we're kind of uh, Underground forest found in China. Let's see this. Scientists discovered inside a giant sinkhole in China. An aerial photo taken in 2020 shows scenery of a giant sinkhole. Okay, so this is a new one. This is a new one. Oh, fuck us. Sound found earlier this month with over 100 foot tall trees inside of it. Just fucking. It's a fucking rainforest under the ground. I'm trying to find them. Uh, do we see? Yeah, if we still haven't found that shit. Like, we thought we knew where everything was on the earth. 630 feet deep and spans 176 million cubic feet. Yep. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> aliens are dangerous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Moral of the story. It's characterized as a tropical rainforest under the fucking ground. I would love to see what that fucking UFO report, like what they actually say is like, Hey, uh, yeah, we still haven't figured out what these fucking flying saucers are. They could <laughs> probably blow up the earth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is the exact threat is what I'm curious. Like, they think they're gonna fucking try that to is gonna be us. mind blowing to us. Like, oh, never thought of that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the movies, you guys. I know where how this. Ends. Have you ever seen Doomsday? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they could. If they were gonna fuck us up, though, they would have done it. Or they're just waiting for us to. They're thinking we are gonna figure it out at some point. But that they're not there. figuring shit out. Like this brings me to the thing I was mentioning earlier. Have you seen uh, Love, Death, and Robots on Netflix? No, I haven't watched it. There's a new season coming out, though. It just came out. I watched the whole thing yesterday. It's all fire. Really? So the whole, like, thing of the show is, like, they just imagine, like, future scenarios, like, of what happens with Earth. And one of them that they go through is, like, they have these three robots that are, like, touring the Earth after our, like, demise to, like, see what happened. And they're showing all the different ways that we, like, try to survive when shit goes down. So it goes through, like, poor people, and it's, like, the rednecks living in, like, a bunker. And then it goes to like richer people who like have like a cooler option. And then like the super rich people who like blast off to Mars or whatever. And one of the robots is just like, um, if all these people are super rich and could make shit to go to Mars, why didn't they just spend the money to fix this planet? Yeah. And the robots are just like, well, that's just dumb as shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's us, right? That's probably what the aliens are thinking about us right, right now, now is they're like, 
they got they've got the tech. They've, they've got, got the technology money and resources. They could probably figure this out on their own. Yeah. Let's just bail. I think they got. This. Yeah. Like yeah. keep watching for Let's another, another hundred years. Desperate planet where they're not as wealthy. And then they see my fucking Reddit searches and they're just like, what the they're fuck? Like, yeah. they're they're like, no, they're, they're fucked. fucked. <laughs> they're fucked. Yeah. This guy's on mildly interesting Reddit trying to buy stuff from a dog. <laughs> this guy's looking at how to make from the new with a fucking baby sock. Oh, why didn't I go super interesting Reddit? <laughs> that was we my saying. most confused part. Like, You're like semi sort of interesting. <laughs> Somewhat interesting shit. Reddit. <sighs> oh, in other news, um, this was just, I forgot about this part of my red hole. There's uh, this group of, it's like the, one of the engineering Reddits. Mm -hmm. They made a self-driving goldfish car. So it, like, it's a car with a little tank on top. And whatever way it swims, the car goes. The goldfish swims? Yeah. Oh, that's fucking <laughs> fire. <laughs> is there a video of that? Yeah, there is. I need to fucking see yeah, that. Bro. Are you it's good stuff. Yeah, I don't know what good. the use whatever is for that. Whatever direction. <laughs> there's, oh, you think there's a practical use for that? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see where it goes. A self-driving goldfish car? Yeah, it's a thing. That's fucking yeah. gas. What they need to do is turn that into like a Roomba. Yeah. Operated by a goldfish. By a goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> or we need to have Elon Musk take over that segment. 100%. Well, yeah. I mean, if we've... We're still waiting on Teslas to figure it out. Let's just see what goldfish do. Yeah. Yeah. Put those in the driver's seat. Put that. That'd Imagine probably a couple safer. of those on a freeway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they go, and the cars immediately accelerate to full velocity <laughs> whenever <laughs> they go. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, they'd be chilling because, like, they're in water. So yeah. it would just be kind of fun to watch a little demolition derby of goldfish. Had to be strong glass, though. Fair. Yeah. yeah. Maybe, like, bubble wrap it or something. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Um, I was thinking about this one. If Pokemon were real, which ones do you think we would eat? Mm. I'm not super versed on the uh, entire Pokemon universe. I didn't play it a ton growing up. Like, I'm a fan. That sucks for you? Yeah. I mean, let me pull up some Pokemon here. The most edible? I mean, I know which one I'd fuck. Bulbasaur. <laughs> Bulbasaur? Yeah. <laughs> Interesting choice. Yeah. Why that one? It's fucking hot. <laughs> have you seen i know we've all seen i've tried to pull this up for morgue i've watched it like 50 times the guy who does the smasher pass for all the pokemon no so oh, he guy's... just goes screen by screen and he's like smash <laughs> <laughs> for each one it's gold for every pokemon but there's a guy who did off of that he made a, like a sexy drawing of each pokemon Ooh. and did a smasher pass and that one's impossible to <laughs> just <laughs> smash across the board. <laughs> smash across the board. It's I'll like smash. sexy Pikachu. You're like, ooh, God. yeah, smash that I thing's gonna thick. crumble. <laughs> that thing's thick as shit. I'm in. <laughs> okay, so there are some Pokemon that are uh, for sure you're eating. It's the the Pidgey. Those are just the regular bird ones. Pidgey is like, the like new Pajoto chicken. And yeah, Ratatat. Some weirdos eating those. Like a rat. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much just a rat there. There isn't there like a cow one. Like, we'd probably still eat that one, Cowimon? right? Cowimon? Cowimon? I think it's called Miltank. Oh, yeah, look at this guy. Mm. Miltank, yeah. Yeah, Miltank, you'd eat the that. fuck out oh, of that. Oh, he's cute as fuck. I don't know if I could eat him, dude. Which one? Miltank's super cute. Oh, I mean, they're all cute, yeah. but so is a cow, low-key. What's key, the big so? sleepy one? Snorlax. Snorlax, so cute. Can never <laughs> eat Back that to guy. the ones I'd fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck. Yeah, Snorlax is a whole vibe. That's me this whole week, bro. <laughs> I mean, I did. I did think we were gonna go down a things I would fuck thing here. <laughs> so I have this pulled up. I prepared a list. Smasher pass, uh, Disney characters. Oh yes, Disney um, princess edition. Just Disney chicks. Yeah. Oh. First one on here is um, the chick from Ratatouille. Um. Fuck! I've never seen that one all the way through. You never seen Ratatouille all that's the way through? That's probably like the best one. That's literally my favorite Disney movie. Or that's Pixar, I guess technically. No, but it's Disney Pixar. Eat rocks. Ratatouille is your favorite Disney movie. Dude, that, it's probably Ratatouille is dumb. Uh, I'm not saying it's not no, good. No, dumb. Jay, yeah, no, dumb, dumb, dumb. As in, it's yeah, like dumb the best as in, one. it's good. Dude, literally, it's, my, good. it's probably the one I've seen the most by far. Well, you've and never, it, and it came out when we were, we're like, like, we're watching 15. that after this. Yeah, I've watched that more than some of the ones I watched like when I was a little kid. I used to watch Finding Nemo on a loop. Finding emails with my little brother. Fire. To be Might fair. as well, yeah. Because it came out at an age. All right. Toy so Story was my. Mark doesn't know that one. I'll go to the next one here. Well, first of all, hold on. Which it's it's like the girl that works at the restaurant. Yeah. With him, right. Yeah. No, that, smash. Yeah. Smash. Easy yeah. smash. Um, Edna Mode. Ooh. Smash. If we're being real, no, but like I want to smash. <laughs> easy. Um, this one's an easy one. Mrs. Incredible. Mrs. Smash. Oh my god. The easiest smash in the is game. Is there a was there something I can do harder than smash? I've never seen obliterate. 
Wait. Can she spread those cheeks like that? Yeah, she can do anything. Like with the limbs? You could. She could probably. You could just climb in there. Yeah. Open true. it up, climb in there, and just. Fucking, She's elastic, girl, dude. True. Just karate chop. That fucking, shit would be. I can't even get into it. <laughs> um, the chick from Lilo and Stitch. Oh God. And by the chick, Ooh. I mean the alien dressed up as the chick. Smash. You, I thought we were talking about Lilo because she's a little girl for the record. No, 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 no. Oh, you <laughs> Jesus well, that's fuck. what I thought you were saying. I was going to say no. Fucking yeah. suck. I was definitely no. going to say no. <laughs> the, <laughs> the alien when he dressed up remember. as the girl. I don't remember. That's a Show pass for you. Do you have a picture? No, you don't get it. All right, fuck you. I'm going to look um, her up. What's her name? Uh, I don't know what the alien's name is. Um, from uh, what the fuck is the one with the dogs? When they 101 Dalmatian? No, when they suck up the the spaghetti and kiss each other. Oh, um Lady and the Tramp. So Lady? Lady <laughs> Smash. Lady the Cocker Spangle? I'm not gonna lie, they sexed up that dog. Let me look at her. <laughs> <laughs> That's an easy one. Oh yeah, she's cute. Give me a whole bowl of spaghetti and I'm going to town. Do you have to you have to take into account that dogs only live to an age that's unacceptable to have sex. Not in dog years. Ooh, fair. Mm. All right, smash. <laughs> um, the one I forget the name of the movie the one where they're journeying to find the fucking the lot Atlantis I think it's just called Atlantis Atlantis that chick let me take a look the like alien or the the Disney Atlantis movie yeah the Disney the girl oh she's bad oh she's bad the one with the face Bro. paint oh smash let me show yeah. you let me show you let me show you yeah she's bad as shit smash smash see smash. you later smash. easy smash she's like nice oof uh, Might need an age check there, but smash. I, I think she's old enough. Uh, this next one's a tough one. Uh, the mom gorilla from Tarzan. Oh, God. Smash. Jane. <laughs> Jane from Tarzan is 100%. No, that one's too easy. That's Tarzan. Hard. Smash. Um, Emperor's New Groove, the evil chick. Oh, I hate her, dude. She's literally, that is like the one of the, the, one of the characters of all the Disney movies that like haunted my family. Emperor's dreams. New Groove is kind of actually, we should, should we watch that or Reddit? I don't love that. I don't love that. You don't like Emperor's New Groove? I don't like, I don't know, something about the animation style of that one. When it's he like, talks to the squirrel? Like, I don't know. When he does the squirrel talk, do, yeah, the, squirrel thing, do the, the squirrel thing, Mark. I don't love Emperor's oh, New Groove. The squirrel? Squiggity, squiggity. Oh. Squump, squiggity. Fuck, I don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember that? No, I remember that part, but I don't remember exactly. Wait, I got to oh, find Oh, squiggity. This. Oh, the, the gronk? <laughs> yeah, gronk. Yeah. Yeah. Squiggity, squiggity. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Fuck, that's good. I missed that. We might have to go on a rampage. Yeah. Oh, those. Yzma. That's the girl's name. Yeah, she's Yzma. fucking scary, dude. I don't fuck with yeah, her. Yeah, she's pretty frightening. I, oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I would not smash her. Would smash. Not smash. smash. <laughs> uh, Dory. Smash. Yeah, and then she wouldn't remember, so you get to you go get again to right away. You get to just round after round. <laughs> <laughs> Run it back. <laughs> it's like 50 first dates. But. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, fuck. I always thought about how fucked that movie is, the Fifty First Dates one, because he has like the clip of like how they're in love. Uh -huh. You could just make that up. Yeah, right. <laughs> you don't have to go through that. Like you could have just started that movie off with like we're married and in love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is that cancelable movie these days? No, he doesn't do anything wrong. It's just it's a wholesome movie. Um, she doesn't know you. Well, she. You just get to watch a little tape that brainwashes like, you into being in love with you every morning. I don't know. And she's scared every morning. <laughs> Where am I? You guys are dark, getting dark with me. Right, it's a cute movie. All right, all right, all right. All right. Um, the uh, secretary from Monsters Inc. Ooh, fucking what's her with name? The, with the dope hair the piece? slug one with like the her little, name? yeah, with the faux hawk. Um, Mike with them. <laughs> Just imagine her saying, Gary Bump. <laughs> I'm gonna go pass. You're gonna go pass. <laughs> oh, that's the one. That's my first pass. Uh, her name is Roz. <laughs> Roz. Roz. <laughs> Fuck. There's a lot more on here than I thought there were gonna be. I think we're gonna have to cut it short. We're gonna have to cut yeah, it. There. That's fair. Okay. That was that was fair. Say. Okay. I want to I want to start with John's honest review of of the Daisy Carnival. Oh God, my honest. As your first, as being your first time. And yeah, first time there. Not being a huge music. dance music fan. What did What did you honestly think? I think I kind of sort of almost got into it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm sure there's some videos of me all fucking crazed out, like having a, I, I had a great you time. Have, you were having yeah, a fucking Yeah, I had a great, great time. time. I slept 10 minutes. Like, if I was having a bad time, I probably would have, like, went back to the RV and slept. I mean, and you didn't. But I'm there were two days I didn't do that. So yeah. I would say it was definitely a good time. I mean. You look like you were having a fucking blast. Honest review, 
uh, having fucking it actually like a carnival where you can go on rides and shit. Like, cause there's so much to do besides the music aspect of it. Yeah, if you want to take a little break, like we went on the swings. Yeah, the we swings the were dank. Up. I took Morg on the zipper for the first time. Which uh, one? The, uh, the zipper is the one, it's like a big long thing oh, with goes, cages. And, and so around. that spins and the cages spin oh, independently of that. Oh, and I hit my fucking head. And I try to explain how it works to him because we're both fucked up and we're on there. I'm like, hey, this is gonna flip over, brace yourself. And he's just sitting there like, dude, I don't, I'm too scared, I don't wanna be on this. And the first time it goes around and starts to speed up, his whole body just lifts up and s- Oh, fuck. <laughs> that's why my fucking head hurts. Oh, that's why. <laughs> I'm just sitting there literally next to him, just like, yes, yeah. yes! No, I, I will say that fucking spinny thing we went on was actually the worst decision we Oh, made. that was a horrible That call. was fucked up. What, the, the, this one? Yeah, the, the one, one that, that we were joking about, oh, that would be we fucked were like, up that's, to go on. That looks fucked up, I'd never do that. Well, we did it. The gravity machine, yeah, yeah. where it literally yeah. just sucks you against the wall. So like, I tr- I would I was so scared. I was trying to look to the left to like him, and like as soon as you turn your head a little bit, it shoves your head this way because you're like pinned like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So then you're just like struggling to get it back to center, and that was at the point where we were legitimately the most fucked up the whole weekend. Yeah, we had just taken a shit ton of streams. We took like, so, was, and we were having a great. We we're just fucking monster was, walking around the yeah, whole place, T we Rexing around the crowd. <laughs> but I actually like freaked out on that ride because it, it just. When you think it's done, it starts tilting up and it starts going faster. And oh, I was yeah. like, "Oh my god, this is another like three full minutes. I'm gonna freak." That one could have been ha- that one could have been half as long. Oh yeah, that was as, fucking uh, miserable. Wish I could have been on that one. But yeah, honest review, I'd do it again for sure. Okay, that's that's what I wanted to know. I got to hear my one song that I knew the whole weekend. Which one was that? The "Don't Keep Me Waiting" side. Oh yeah, one. banger. I wasn't there for that. That's on me. Yeah, he fucking yeah. You weren't. Oh, you, I have you to go do like, something yeah, real quick. Missing so many goddamn times. <laughs> Same thing at Coachella. You just can't. Did, didn't help that I didn't have my phone both the times. Yeah, you're just. Even if you did have it, you wouldn't know how to work it. Pro. I could find a way around. You're an absolute menace. Um, <laughs> do we start with just the fucking RV ride getting there? That was probably the scariest. <laughs> okay, so let's put it this way: no one who we went with. So we we took an RV because they have the RV camping, which was like the best call ever. But getting there, no one looked at like the RV check-in times or anything. Like we just sent it at like what. 10 p.m. We decided we were just going to go. The, yeah. We left at like 9 or 10 p.m. Stopped at Costco along the way. And while we're like walking back to the RV, I decided to look up like the rules to see if we could bring like glass bottles in. Mm-hmm. And then I find like the check-in ends at 2. And we're over four hours away and it's 10 o'clock at night. So we weren't going to make it to the check-in, which means we'd have to sleep in the RV just on the side of the road. So, Which looking back on it wouldn't have been the worst. No, it wouldn't have. But Aiden, who was driving us... Decides that he's just going to go 85 miles per hour in a 40 foot RV in the fast lane the whole drive there. And 50 mile an hour winds. Which was literally the scariest drive of my fucking life. Well, and, and the fucked up part about that is after I started driving, I looked at the speedometer and it only goes to 80. It, yeah, oh, no, it goes to 85. Like that was, yeah. it was pinned the whole time. And that yeah. is, yeah, that was fun. That's how we get, we went through all that gas on the way there. Yeah, because he was flooring it. The oh, whole we're time. lucky we didn't blow up the whole fucking thing. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Because on the way back, we barely went through half a tank. Yeah, the RV, our entire preparation was trash from yeah. that, from not planning on we need to get there at the right time to driving 100 miles. I mean, the Costco run, that was the worst Costco run we've ever made oh in our entire God. life. Who fucking bought mac and cheese? Dude, we bought, so we buy, we thought we were getting Easy Mac, I think, for the record. But we get regular mac and cheese, but didn't buy milk, didn't buy butter. And like, you have to cook that on the stovetop, not just in the microwave. So we like had pots and pans in a stove, but like we had no liquid to put in it. Well, and our RV was out of water. Yeah, we didn't even yeah. have water from oh, we, the first day we got there. We did eat a dry box mac and cheese though. We did eat a dry box. And Not just also, eat. What else did you do with that? What else did you do with it? Oh yeah, it snorted the line of cheese. You racked that line <laughs> of the powdered cheese. Somebody <laughs> said I wouldn't do it. Some, yeah, someone, yeah, for the record, someone did say you won't, so you yeah, had to, right? which is all it takes. Yeah. <laughs> but like, yeah, the food, like the food preparation was terrible. Like. I was so lazy. I just ate like a whole dry bagel like three separate times. To sum yeah. up our entire purchases, we brought bread in eight different forms yep. with nothing to put on it. No. Uh, oh, cream cheese we did bring, but we left it out all night the first night. Soup. We got a bunch of soup for Hot 100 degree weather. Ramen. Yeah. Nothing that you want more blasted out after no sleep than a thing of soup. Hot fucking ramen. Yeah. And uh, alcohol. That was it. That was it. That was literally all we brought. Oh, and liquid IV and water. But in, in better news, Garrett married two people this month. Oh, yeah, God. not I didn't personally marry. I I was the uh, the reverend for two separate yeah. weddings. So one uh, was a couple weeks ago, which we talked about last episode. 
And this time was uh, our friend Forbes and some girl he met at EDC <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> at six o'clock oh. in the morning on the last day. He, uh, after they met a day before, or two days before. I think they, they'd known each other from like Arizona, but they weren't like. I think he close. met. I think he said he met her last EDC. No, they they, they knew each other from because they went to college together in Arizona. I guess. Oh really? But like they didn't. They weren't like good friends. So, yeah. Yeah. He pretty the, much. The got fucked to know up her part about that was simply like it would have been okay if we did it just as a semi joke like we did the because they have the, the, chapel. the they have the chapel there at edc was the fucked up part was that we drafted up a semi serious prenup agreement that they both signed and a semi serious like marriage contract marriage, that they both signed license that they both wait signed. what do you mean we drafted up a prenup like M maddie just maddie typed one typed out typed up a prenup and they both signed it she typed out a prenup? Yeah. On yes. phone? This was a real Which is the wedding. only smart part of that I'm whole thing. I'm telling you, this was a real wedding. It was like, like they're actually one, maybe married. Like they are technically married. Wait, but how so they printed out from the phone or what? No, they, or just they just have with electronic sign. They printed it, yeah. their name in it. Yeah. Yeah. Like it, it was it's a legal contract. The well, something thing, something they actually signed. I think that they, they signed brought with up, their finger the prenup. Yeah, yeah. signed with their finger it. How does that work? The prenup just said like they they both agreed they weren't entitled to each other's assets. So it says like neither of us are entitled to any of each other's assets, even the, even in the event of a divorce or whatever. And both signed it. Oh, that'll stand in court. Yeah, no, it actually would. I, <laughs> I mean, and if it does, <laughs> fuck. So what, what's the next step for them? You, you get it in an old. I mean, what? if they, they move in. Oh yeah, we'll start a family. I mean, what are you talking about? Them. Like if they actually want it, I just have to sign it as well. So because I was there and we witnessed it and everything. Yeah. And I, though the best part was for, <laughs> so I just said a little spiel, you know, we're gathered here today, blah, blah. And then I go, uh, do either of you have any vows you'd like to say? And Forbes, instead of looking at the girl, looks around at all of us, his friends, he goes, I fucking love you boys. <laughs> that was his vow. <laughs> we were and just like, nice. <laughs> didn't say a word to her. Just goes, I fucking love you boys. And I was Jesus like, wow. Christ. Yeah. And then, uh, they, they kissed and that was, that was it. Rings were exchanged, whole deal. Oh, yeah, no, there was a full ring exchange, everything. They were made out of foil, but... Oh, yeah, that's true. Technically a place Does count. Time. And was it that night that he took a shit while the toilet seat was down? No, that was the night before. Oh, no, that's why it makes the marriage also more real, because he blacked out, threw up all over the RV, slept shit on the toilet, on top of, on the, top on top of, of the, the seat, <laughs> slept there for three hours completely naked, and sitting she up, with him the whole time. and then she... Wipes his ass, puts on his pants, gets him onto the bed, lays next to him, fanning him for five hours. Yeah, she, was, she was a trooper, man. Like, that he should have married her, honestly. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I don't blame him. That girl, he'll never find a girl better than that. Plot twist, they stayed married, dude. Bro, he was... He what do you was, mean plot twist? That's the amount the main of times yesterday on the couch, he kept saying, I miss my wife, and he's, like, texting her. Oh, and get this. So she left her ID in his wallet on accident, maybe? So, like, they have to meet up again soon. Yeah. She needs well, that back. And she also left a Polaroid photo of them two kissing like in his fucking wallet. He like goes in his wallet. He's like, bro, she planted some seeds on me, bro. <laughs> oh, oh my God. God. I love how, I love how when we got back after everything, he's like, dude, she's already like posting pictures and tagging me. Yeah, and I was like, like, oh, you're God. married, bro. That's not, <laughs> that's not weird. You got <laughs> oh married to her. God. He's like, I don't know. She's being kind of clingy. I was like, well, I don't know. The marriage was kind of like, <laughs> <laughs> That. Yeah, he calls me when we're at fucking Lee Fox. He's like, we're headed to the chapel. Meet us there. I was like, All right, let's do this thing. I thought Morg was going to get married too. Yeah, Jesus. To what? To the stripper. The stripper. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen your eyes light up more Did than when she to? said that. <laughs> well, I just don't get how that came up like in conversation. We, it, it didn't. It was I, very casually. We were talking about, because we were all fucked up sitting around the table and we were just talking about like where we were from, what we did. And then it was her turn. She's like, oh, I'm from Denver. And she's like, I, I'm like a, I'm a dancer. And I was like, oh, like what kind of dancing? And she's like, uh, I work at like a club. And I was like, oh, so like a stripper? And she's like, yeah, I'm a stripper. Wow. <laughs> and that was the most words she said the entire, we'd been hanging out for two days at that point. And she said maybe eight words prior to that. And then she just drops that bomb. Wow. Where did you, you find bump? this lady? <laughs> uh, one of the pool parties. Oh, really? Yeah. It's good vibes. <laughs> good vibes. <laughs> yeah, uh, luck. You know, I was thinking about earlier with Morg talking about how he got lost half the time. Is there a way to devise like a better contact system for while you're at it, something like this? I think you need walkie talkies, like long range, like legit walkie talkies. Like there has to, I feel like there could be something that comes with the concert though. Oh, for sure. Like there could be like a, a group Wi-Fi. 
Like, I'm, well, there was Wi-Fi in there. Yeah, but it just it was only it, in one area. It barely yeah. worked or half the time. But I don't get why they don't have like some sort of like or like a call box Wi-Fi pods all over the place. Like where you could make it work. If they had the drones in the air, then you could have. Like, a yeah, wait, where's drone. where's the Starlink at? You know yeah. what I mean? It needs to be something because like the process of trying to if you get lost for a half a second, you're gone. It's oh, oh yeah. yeah, dude. If you literally could turn around and all of a sudden your group's gone and good luck. Or we need to come up with some sort of text like universal text language to explain where you're at because when you're fucked up and on the phone and you're just yelling back at each other, where are you? No, where are you? No, seriously. I'm over here. You're over here. Where are you? It's so bad. It's no. the most... In- and you go like right side circuit grounds. Like, bro, there's a fucking There's 5,000 people, people over here. on that side <laughs> bro, of the stage. Bro, if I text you at a music festival and you don't say a fucking like... A star a is right above you, a, then a I'm not land, finding you. You need an exact landmark. And that was a terrible analogy, but yes. fuck it. I might as well find you. No, you that. need like a legit like, land, like landmark you can see. GPS from, like, coordinates. Yeah. Well, at least a speaker stand. No, I think it's got, I think for right now, the only thing is you would need like long range walkie talkies would be the way. It's got to be something. We got to yeah. come up with, that would be our next idea that we could come up with and make some money. Or, but I did meet a guy that put a six-digit phone number in my phone, and I never found him again. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like we're missing a number here, pal. <sighs> so all in all, a fucking great time. <laughs> yeah, fuck. We had uh, four of our tracks played on the main stage this year. Oh, yeah. Fucking epic. I, yeah. I didn't know when they were coming on or that they happened because... Yeah, were you know. even with me? Yeah. You were, no, I was. we were right next to each other, but we didn't know we were. We didn't know we were. Yeah. That's right. For the first one. Then the other one, we weren't there, but we were. Yeah. Pretty dope. Um, this one here. So we've talked about like how to blind people dream. Do you think people who have like just visual impairments, do you think they dream in like their blurry ass vision or their corrective vision? Well, I don't like, does anyone here wear glasses? I don't know. I, that's why I'm, uh, I don't know. I don't wear glasses. Fuck your dreams are just all ass. Yeah. Like, do you, <laughs> do you think you fix it in your wait, dream? Wait, like, are you up, wearing, I can't see. like, do you put on, are you gla- wearing your glasses or do you wear your that? glasses? Like, do you think in their dreams? They're like, Oh fuck, hold on a second. No, I think all their dreams are them trying to find their glasses. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> the whole Where are my time. contacts at bro? <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fuck. The whole fucking time looking for their glasses. Um, but I mean, Oh, it's kind of hard to even explain whether or not you were seeing in your dreams. That's true. Like, you're not really like, it's not like your vision. It's kind of like these weird, cloudy. It's things. like you know what it would look like, but yeah. you're not actually I seeing. guess that's true because it's not like It's not your like eyes. you're like actually looking through your eyes, you know. Wait, but what do we say about blind people dreaming? We were wrong about everything, I think. Oh, fuck. I don't remember the consensus. I remember we I, we put that one in the talk and we, it was us talking about it and every comment was like, you're fucking dumb as shit. <laughs> <laughs> so they're right. <laughs> yeah. When you're right, you're right. When you're right, you're right. Whew. This is another one like that. All right. So we know we have like our internal voice, mm-hmm. right? That we listen to. Are we the internal voice or are we the person who listens to the voice? We're we're the perceiver. You're the perceiver. So who's the voice? I mean, the voice. I think the voice is like your. Like, is it you to you, or is it, it someone telling you? I think the internal voice is just you thinking. No, no, because you. But don't you're listening it. to it. Also, right? Mm. Or just, so who are you telling if you're the voice? Mm. I think it's like your rational brain versus like your subconscious brain. I don't fucking know. So it's you to you. It's yeah. you versus you. Yeah. You versus you. It's, it's always you think about me. it. Yeah. Is it though? I think part of it's like it's just it when it. I know it. what I should be doing, but this is what I'm going to do. Because it's you, not always you to you. I don't think it's all. I don't think it can always be you to you. How often is it you to you? I'm just. Because there's definitely scenarios where like that internal voice is going and you're like, nah, fuck that. But that's because I think it's like, you know, you analyze multiple angles of like what the scenario is. So you're like, I know what I should, what would be like the most right thing to do, what would be okay to do and what would be the wrong thing to do. So I guess it's more like we are just two, your two voices. Yeah. Like it's the one that's talking to you, telling you what to do. And then there's the person, there's also making you the again de- being like. decisions. That makes sense, but like no. I don't really feel like listening to you today. You're kind of yeah. Being, this guy's kind of being a bus. This guy's being a little lame. <laughs> <laughs> Me every day. You kind of suck shit today, huh? The amount of times, so, <laughs> amount of times someone 
was telling me you really need more right now, yeah. and I when I, I drank more, I did more, or whatever. That's you to you. <laughs> that was me to me. Yeah. That you see, I heard a lot of that motherfucker, <laughs> and I didn't <laughs> listen to a word he said. Yeah. Sleep would be a good idea right now. Ooh, you saw Vintage Cultures playing at six a.m. Let's yeah. run it. We did it. We did it. Well, what do you say we get some sleep, huh? Uh, I'm gonna watch Ratatouille, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> me every day. Um, FOMO news: We just dropped a new fucking track today. Um, it's called the "Hey Mr. DJ." It's a fucking banger. Go check it out on Spotify. Um, other than that, we have a show. We have a show at Academy on Saturday, um, up in Hollywood. Uh, that's Saturday the 28th, I believe. Yeah. Yep. And then, other than that, just uh, shoot us a like comment subscribe send in those questions follow us yeah send in some fucking interesting shit for next week when our brains are functioning at least half yeah that would be nice yeah um other than that good night <laughs> good night <laughs> <Get some> fucking water <laughs> all right